We're gonna get some stinky tofu up on Madison Avenue. <laughs> Ready. No car ride. Oh, sh oh. <laughs> like, where the f is my phone? <laughs> you have it. Let's go. Oh, Brooklyn Bridge. I thought you'd see it. Lana Dima is a villain. I'm a hustler. I'm a hustler. I'm a hustler. I'm a hustler. Where's the car? Where are we going today? Oh, yeah, we're going to. Oh, my God. I can't even see where we're going. Oh, yeah, we're going to this Taiwanese restaurant that. Um, a friend of mine actually recommended to me probably one of my favorite restaurants in New York. When I was growing up in boarding school, I never got Chinese food growing up. I was, you know, it was always, you know, typical like hamburgers, fries, you know, shit like that. After I got out of boarding school, which is probably right after high school, I developed this craving that like I only wanted Asian food. So it wasn't even something that like I had all the time growing up, but, um, People always make fun of me for that, so. Well, I know, I said we're going to Queens to get Taiwanese food, but we're gonna get Japanese food first for lunch. <laughs> this is my friend Shane. I'm so happy he's wearing normal shoes today. Usually there's some like crazy avant-garde, like doors, knocker, stopper, speaker. He's eating food. It's a little ash. <laughs> Went to the Vietnamese place to get a snack while we were on the wait list for the Japanese restaurant. Thank you. I don't have hot sauce in my bag. <laughs> it's so fun watching me. Probably the thing I sort the most on Yelp is bubble tea locations. Do we have any dolls? It's called Bow. Dow. of the day. We're finally here. The grand finale. When I look at a big menu at a place like this, that's when you really know they know what they're doing. It's not like that bull shit that is like 10 things on a menu thing that you get in the city. This is like the real deal. Like real skill set. It's actually funny when like, you know, certain 
Asian dishes get translated into English because it just doesn't quite have the same je ne sais quoi. <laughs> this dish called Fly's Head probably doesn't sound as appetizing, but in Chinese, it's the name of the vegetable. We'll do stinky, we'll do smelly, we'll do fermented, but we're not gonna do stomach with jalapeno. Intestine in brown sauce. She's asking if we should get the large table because she knows I'm gonna order a lot. <laughs> <laughs> bitter melon chicken. Do you like bitter melon? Flavored glutinous rice. Mixed vegetable. I think it's a baby shrimp with chili pepper. Oh yeah, oh pork chop. I said don't recommend things that are, you know, they're very health conscious. She's like, and then you're like pork chop. Got marinated figures. Pork ginger ale. We were supposed to have four people. But one of my white friends tapped out. As you can see, Shane is no longer here. This is the fly head. Little mince. This is actually really good over white rice. You need this with white rice. Hospitality? We sometimes compromise. Maybe. It's one of the more risque things that I like. Fish ball soup, pepper beef. This right here, Koshi is my favorite. Basically, watercress and shrimp with celery. I don't know why they brought it to you. You know, when you have a big menu, that means that chef is talented. My mom used to always tell me that leaving rice behind in your bowl would mean um, that how many pimples that your um, husband or wife will have. I don't need no pimple curses. <laughs> Best part right now, literally no joke. Our waitress is eating with the rest of the wait that well. We're still here. Let's take a look. It's basically our version of risotto. For all my uh, Italian fans out there. But I literally ate this growing up. My mom cooked all the time. But also like my grand my, my grandmother really cooked for like the entire family. Like that was like our social gathering. Really big family growing up, but we were like really tight. So, like cousins and everything on my mom's side, we always like they like when we grew up in the Bay Area, they all literally lived like a block away from one another and my grandma's house was like in the middle and we all go over to my grandma's house like on a weekly basis. So, I typically love everything like that's like sticky rice, mochi anything super glutinous. Extra gluten. That's actually my diet, is extra gluten. The grand finale. What does it smell like? I just hear some It smells like nail polish. Nail polish? I also just don't like tofu. They just put this like pickly chili sauce on it that just is like... Lots of leftovers. None of it will go to waste. Eating with Alex. This is what you get. <laughs>